this movie was a blast. You guys were great in it. Uh, Race, I'm going to start with you. Uh, you play Rasputin in a way that comes across as hilarious to the audience. It's super funny, and it's also very intense. And I know that on set, that means you have a very different tone. You're not playing this to be funny, right? You're playing this in like a, you have to play it straight, and that's what makes it funny. So I'd love to hear from you about the direction Matthew gave you to bring Rasputin to life in a way that makes it so good in the film. Well, you know, Rasputin, I think that's the case for all the characters. You know, you have to play something uh, for real. But in Rasputin's case, Rasputin is such a larger than life figure anyway. You know, um, if he walked into a room now in real life, you kind of wouldn't believe it, I imagine. You know, all the anecdotal evidence for him is that he was like hypnotic. He had this incredible physical presence um, that was at once attractive and repellent, you know? Um, so yes, um, we, anything you see about Rasputin in the film is, is kind of, is based in, in, a, in a truth, uh, believe it or not, because it's kind of unbelievable, this, this guy. Yeah. Um, but of course, you know, in a Matthew Vaughan film and in a film like The Kingsman, there's room to uh, tweak and to magnify and to, you know, to change things that accordingly to serve the narrative, you know? And with Rasputin, you know, we felt he had to be repellent. He had to be dangerous. He had to be kind of frightening. But, you know, he, he, we have to be able to kind of laugh at him as well, albeit possibly through fear or revulsion, you know. Um, so, yeah, so the, 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 those were all stuff that was, um, you know, a collaboration, I guess, between myself and Matthew. And, um, and then, of course, there's the, the physical element, you know, the fighting and all that, which was a whole another um um <laughs> head fuck all around a different trade all yeah. different kind of story. i also yeah. I want to follow that with the fact like you have a really funny sequence uh with ray fines uh in that and i don't want to spoil anything but there's some physical contact that maybe might make some people uncomfortable if you guys are doing that like i want to hear what is the conversation like going into the sequence where you're kind of you guys are up on each other a little bit and it's a pretty great sequence but i'd love to hear about the prep yeah. for that <laughs> I don't know about making people uncomfortable. I think it made Rafe <laughs> uncomfortable as well. <laughs> yeah. No, Matthew, Matthew, listen, Rafe is such an exquisite actor. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. And he, he's incredible. His range is just vast. And every moment you of Rafe is on the screen it, it is just devastating, devastatingly good or devastatingly moving. And, in this, and, and then another component to Rafe as an actor is because he has all this you know, power as an actor. He's also playful, you know, he's a great improviser, you know. Um, so Matthew kind of said to us in that moment you're referring to, just play, guys. I'm going to let you play and um, I'll step in. And he did and we did. And Rafe is such a generous actor and an inventive actor. Um, we, we had great fun shooting that, that scene. But um, yeah, it was, um, I never thought I'd get so close to an Oscar winner, shall we put it like that? <laughs> I love that. That's great, man. I hope you guys had fun with it. Um, and the sword fighting in this film is tremendous. The way Matthew directs it, the, what you guys had to learn, I'm sure, was a lot. And, and Jimon, you, you're not unfamiliar with sword play in films. You've done King Arthur and Captain Marvel uh, in different films where you've had to learn stuff like that, I'm sure. But this one, I, right. I feel like this was a different kind of challenge. It oh, was, it definitely it was. was. It yeah, definitely like, was. Working different. with the camera movements and also the mm -hmm. choreography, I'd love to hear about the kind of challenges this presented to you on that front. Well, the, I mean, the, the 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 biggest challenge had to do with the phys physicality of the, uh, the the action sequence, and uh, uh, and we've had a tremendous um, uh, help in uh, being guided by the stunt team. Uh, our body doubles were absolutely amazing. You know, you couldn't tell the difference between when I come in and when uh, he, you know, uh, my stunt double, uh, you know, takes over. Uh, but that said, it was uh, just. Um, uh, such a difficult scene to, to shoot. Very, very difficult, very, um, uh, um, uh, you know, of course uh, it has its emotional, um, uh, you know, the, the emotional roller coaster. I mean, the, 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 the story, uh, the, the, the father and son emotional drama was uh, playing out throughout the, you know, uh, this uh, sequence and um, so but it was uh, quite a beautiful challenge and certainly uh, one that's uh, gratifying looking at the finished product. 
Yeah, that, that, that ended up being my favorite sequence in the film. I love that. I thought you guys crushed it. Uh, but I, the Kingsman movies are also very defined by their stylish uh, apparel, their outfits and stuff. And I love to hear, you were just kind of, you launched the, you're partnering on a fashion line. Did you learn anything from these movies that you, that you applied over there with Daniel? Uh-huh. Uh, Jaima, didn't you just launch, uh, you, you partnered on a fashion line, no? Oh, yes, yes, with Danny, Danny, Danny Gaze. Yes, of course. Uh, sorry, what's the question? Did you learn when you, had... when, when you were getting prepped for the style in this film that, that ended up applying itself to that? Well, you know, I mean, uh, my, 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 my history obviously had a bit of a background in, uh, in fashion and uh, uh, obviously didn't fashion for a decade before starting, uh, you know, in movies. And uh, mm -hmm. so I... Um, uh, but the idea that we were, of course, on the uh, 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 Kingsman franchise, uh, of course, sets a different tone, you know, as far as, uh, you know, uh, aspirational elegance and, uh, you know, style of concern. It was uh, sort of like uh, perfect for, you know, the Kingsman. Yeah, so I definitely, I mean, that's what's I, I inspirational. Wanna, I want to see these clothes, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, he, 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 always look, he always looks so cool. You know? Yeah, look at the suit he's in right now. I mean, he's look, ripping. He's yeah. a, yes, he's I mean, look at the shoes. Yeah. I'm trying to, I mean, yeah. I'm, trying to, I'm putting on a suit tonight for the spy, for the Spider-Man premiere, but it's just Spider-Man color. Actually, the, that's my segue. I'm not even going to try to hide it. Race, I got to, you know, I have oh, to. Man, that was like, that was clinky, man. <laughs> well, you going to the uh, Spider-Man uh, premiere? That's right. Oh, I'm in a hotel room right now. I'm out in LA. I'm going to Spider-Man. I, I know you can't really speak about that until I've seen the movie, but it is, I, I would love to hear when you find out your character from a franchise that was thought to be presumably just put to bed because it, there was a reboot and you find out Lizard is continuing. What do you think about that? Like what, what is kind of like the first kind of question or, or thought about oh, like hearing that news? No, just, just, just flattery really. Um, you know, you just think, wow, that's, that's great. Um, I'm in a movie and I don't have to get out of bed. <laughs> I love it. And actually, Javid, on that note, you're Marvel and DC veteran on both sides. You, you know your next stop on either of those franchises? Uh, no clue. No clue. Um, all I know is I just uh, wrapped uh, Shazam, um, where I uh, appear again. Uh, other than that, I'm hoping for, you know, hopefully another one. But, uh, yeah, no, we... Uh, we rarely know, uh, we, we not nearly as much as, as you know, you know, and we're pretty much on the receiving ends of uh, whatever decision was made at that point, right? So we're just waiting, patiently waiting and to be uh, to be called in, right? I'm ready to see you square up with uh, with The Rock and his Black Adam one of these days, if that ever happens. But listen, fellas, thank yeah. you so much for the time. The King was a blast. You two were phenomenal. Thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah. Thank Happy you. Holidays. Enjoy tonight. I, I will. Yes. Well, you're not Enjoy coming so. tonight. I saw you're not on the, the, the list. No, I'm busy on this other movie. Like, that's uh, fair. That's fair. Well, <laughs> we have the Kingsman premiere going on. Yeah, I, mean, yeah, I know. It's a, you guys are in New York, right? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Have fun there, guys. Thank you so much. And, and I'm happy to see you. Thank you. It was a blast. Happy holidays. Happy holidays, yeah.